not gonna have lipstick on her teeth, bitch. It's not gonna happen. All right, what's up, bad bitches? It's Teo Natty. I am back. I'm not wearing a robe anymore, okay? Today is a dry day. Today, the pits are drier than Queen Cheryl's pussy. If you know who Queen Cheryl is, why aren't you my best friend yet? But also, I should not have went to Queen Cheryl and whatever her boyfriend's name is. I should I should not have went to their Twitter page to see their prawns. Her pussy is actually not that dry. What a great intro to a video. Oh my god. Sometimes my talent and my ability to connect with people just really blows my mind. But anyway, we are not talking about Queen Cheryl in this video. If you guys want me to do a video on her, by all means, I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm not gonna lie, that TikTok account be entertaining as hell. Also, look at how amazing my makeup is. Like this is, I'm really killing it today. But if I'm not this close to the motherfucking camera, you can't see shit. So enjoy it for the two seconds that you can see it. And now we're back here. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit distressed about the current setup that I got going on right now it is not the best okay i know and i had to switch to a different mic and this one the sound quality is not as good and it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of like you know what i mean but i would like to just ask you to bear with me until i figure out a way to elevate the quality of my content once again i'm i'm just i'm struggling a little bit with the new setup okay like the fact that this piece of shit foam fucking panel bitch is not lined up this is this is this is sending me right now like i am genuinely tweaking but that's why i brought out my favorite thing in the whole wild world bitch can we talk in the whole wide world to remind me of my life motto that i do not give a fuck anyways okay let's talk about the bitch taylor swift oh my god i have no chill today like what the fuck is going on uh but yeah let's talk about taylor swift because man the tides are turning on her i mean mm, i don't know if it's just me i don't know if i've landed onto like some weird fucking category on tiktok i don't know what kind of sneaky algorithm i hit or if it's like an experience experience for everyone but mind you sometimes i like to tweak my algorithm and make it all cat related content like it is so easy to change your tiktok algorithm based on the watch time that you give to certain videos based on your engagement and also what you go to watch in the like search tab what you look up and then watch it's so easy to change your algorithm so i don't know if like maybe i just landed on like a weird side of tiktok but yo the taylor sip <laughs> Bitch, the Taylor Swift snark is fucking real. It seems like people went from heavily sucking on this bitch's titties, because she. Does, I was gonna say sucking her dick, but I don't think Taylor Swift has dick. So yeah, sucking her titties, okay? Everyone went, well, not everyone. Obviously, there's still the diehard Taylor fans. Why am I holding this like a fucking prude? Um, What the fuck was I saying? Yeah, basically, it just went from me seeing a lot of like praise Taylor Swift content to I fucking hate that bitch. <laughs> There's like these accounts that um, are verified. So they have the blue check mark, right? And they've been changing the, the people that own these accounts. They've been changing it to um, say like Drake or there was one Playboy Cardi one. I think that's the only two I've seen. But I'm sure there's like other verified accounts like these that are obviously not these celebrities. But they changed the name to that. When you go to their TikTok, their username, like their at is different. But like when you're just getting it on your For You page, it's the name of that celebrity. But it's like I'm proud of who I am or whatever and then you swipe to the next photo post right and you swipe to the next one and it's like a Taylor Swift hater so aside from that you know these like troll verified accounts god can we not sit like a goddamn hunchback like come on it's not Notre Dame in this bitch but yeah I don't I don't know how it happened but like the tides are really turning on Taylor Swift and <laughs> you know what I actually used to call her Sailor Twift I think that that's like one of the funniest things ever to just reverse the two letters and it's just, <laughs> she's Sailor Twift <laughs> when she you know had the movie and she was i don't know she's still touring i don't fucking keep up with her but you know there was like a big buzz about taylor swift and people were like singing her praises about how she's single-handedly reviving and helping the american economy through her tour and like creating jobs and yada yada and i'm just like 
that's embarrassing that's honestly embarrassing for a country for citizens of a country to be like yeah my favorite pop star and just single-handedly fix the economy like okay damn well, you need taylor swift to fix your economy like oh, mm. but then again if it's your fave it's your fave so stands are gonna stand and if you're watching this and you like taylor swift listen this is all in good fun okay i really couldn't give a fuck about any of these celebrities they're they're so rich especially taylor swift like she's a <laughs> she's a billionaire is she a billionaire i think she has to be let me just quit is taylor swift a billionaire <laughs> October 30th, 2023, she is now a billionaire and is estimated to be worth $1.1 billion. Yeah, I I don't feel bad poking fun at such rich people. And if you like her personality, if you like her music, by all means, you do you. I'm just here to kind of share why I don't really fucks with her. The the last time I fucked with her, and that sounds bad. It's like that Borgor sound. Sound. I wanna, I wanna make money. I'm more power. I'm to uh, private hour. I wanna get drunk. I wanna fuck bitches. I want Taylor Swift to send me nude pictures. <laughs> genuinely the one of the only taylor swift songs that i low-key enjoy is the one that she did with kendrick lamar what was that bad blood right i think so i think it's bad blood yeah that one and before that i think it was literally love story the motherfucking what started this entire madness and i was 13 at that time so you know it really it really do be making sense that i liked that song i was a i was an infant but yeah anything after that I don't fucks with Taylor Swift. She's, man, she's so boring to me. <laughs> she's just the epitome of like, I'm a pretty girl and I'm boring as fuck. And you know, it's like maybe if I knew her in real life and I kind of discovered like her true personality, I guess maybe she wouldn't seem so, so boring. Like I'm sure that she has certain aspects to her character <laughs> that are probably kind of lit like i mean she was chugging a beer at the super was it the super bowl or some other game i don't know i, I don't know what the fuck i'm talking about but i'm just yapping to yap so welcome to the yap session uh you know but yeah she was chugging beer i think it was the super bowl and you know i thought that was pretty fucking lit like yeah girl go ham <laughs> candace owens said something really funny about that she was like you know i'm just glad that taylor swift is not cosplaying a teenage girl anymore like now she's kind of moved into her like college girl era with the beer chugging and everything and mind you taylor swift's like 30 so that's not even like college era but you know at least she's moved up the demographics because <laughs> yeah like bro like she makes music for teenage girls like i will give you a pass if you like taylor swift and you're a teenager okay i don't know now i feel like i'm gonna alienate some viewers that really fuck with taylor swift but you know guys man fuck me and fuck taylor swift fuck that bitch i can't please everyone okay so don't at me okay what was i talking about <laughs> Yeah, my my cousin is a, is a Taylor Swift stan, okay? She is a major Swifty, and I'll give her a pass because, first of all, the girl's a teenager. Like, I think it's totally fine to, like, Sailor Twift if you're a teenager. But if you're kind of, like, a grown-ass woman, and I don't even know what the fuck she sings about because, I mean, the stereotype is that she just has these relationships that are very short-lived, and then after, you know, her and her boyfriend... <laughs> To break up she writes a whole fucking album about them and it's just like okay and then like that's just it it's just it's just boring it's just bland i like bad bitches to me she's just a pretty girl and yeah that's about it <laughs> I also feel like at the level where she is in terms, okay, can we not look constipated? Bro, like relax. This is, you, you're practicing. I already told you I'm coming for ice spice. Okay, bro, hold the mic close to your face. I already told you I'm coming for ice spices thr throne. She's not even on the throne, but well, maybe the poo poo throne, you know? Thank you, the shit, bitch. You're not even the fart. I'll be going hard. Okay, not gonna lie, that part is catchy. I don't know if the bitch wrote that song herself, but I mean, she still got one flow, so like, it can't be that hard to write Ice Spice lyrics, right? But yeah, I really, I gotta work on my stage presence, right? If she's not gonna do it, then I'm gonna do it so I can just like come out and just fucking, 
Okay, let's not get sidetracked.、Uh, so Taylor Swift, being as famous and as wealthy as she is, there is no fucking way she's actually like writing every single song and every single line, every single word, and every single letter in every single one of her songs. I'm not gonna. I can't be bothered to go on Genius and whatever the fuck website and look up like the writing credits. But I'm sure the bitch has a lot of help, a lot of input, and you know. Even if she like, what the fuck? I feel like there was something to do with like,、oh, I'm a poet. Like, I feel like she thinks of of herself as like some kind of like modern poet lady. <laughs> When you are such a big pop star, it's the artistry is is out the window. That's how I feel about most big artists. Like when you have. So many people working for you, branding you, art directing you, just like taking care of every single thing to sell you as a product to the masses. I feel like the artistry kind of goes out the window, and you know, I even feel this way about like when Doja Cat said that、uh, Planet Her and all the other like albums before this last one that she released, when she said that they were cash grabs. I'm like, yeah, I can see that. It was like super palatable. <laughs> Bitch, can we talk? It was super palatable, bro. Palatable stuff, and you know, I do think that she let some of her creativity come through that. Like, there's definitely certain looks that she served. There's certain themes for music videos that were like, okay, this is quite artsy fartsy. Like, I, you know, this is it's different. I like it. With Taylor Swift, you are not going to find any of that, and so that's why I think like Bad Blood was super striking. <laughs> not to mention, she had all of these celebrities, all these like it girls in the video. And you know, you get bitch didn't direct that. That was her marketing and branding team behind her doing that. So like, I can't even really give her credit for that. And I understand the appeal because boring appeals to boring. So if you're boring, just say so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But like, if if you want some kind of like bland ass song about being heartbroken over some guy you dated for like two months, then like, sure, go for it. But I, my mind is like on some other shit. Like that to me, that's like I left that in my teenage angst. Like goodbye. What the fuck was I gonna say? And yeah, I think what set off a lot of people on the Nicki Minaj girl. We're talking about Taylor Swift on the Taylor Swift hate train, as we should call it, is her fucking carbon footprint, her energy and. Resource consumption. I don't know how to frame this because I'm not really in my like academic mindset right now. I'm just you know I'm just doing a yap session. But yeah, like the bitch emits a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere of our planet、um, with her private jet flights. And yes, I know a lot. See, that's the thing. Like, it's like we talk about Taylor Swift being so what you might call it <laughs> environment destroying. It's not just her. It's the Kardashians. It's the fucking Mark Zuckerberg's the fucking、uh, what's his face who started Amazon? Jeff Bezos, like all of these fucking billionaires are taking private jet flights just like her. So it's not just like okay, we can't just like blame her. But at the same time, it's like because she's touring so much and going to all these different countries and whatnot. I feel like it just it comes up on people's radar more. And speaking about coming up on the radar, is、um, so、there was a guy who compiled all of her flight information and started. Can we not be constipated again? Hand, yes, please, good. And he started a Twitter account, basically like logging all of her flights, like the duration, a bunch of other details. And because this stuff is like public domain, I don't know where he found it. I don't know where you would go to find out, but apparently it's like publicly available information that anyone has access to. So this kid, this I don't know, I don't want to call him a kid. I don't know, young guy. I think he was. I don't. Don't at me. This guy. Let's just say this. This person. God damn! This person compiled, you know, her flights, made a Twitter X account about it, and her legal team sent him a cease and desist because God forbid you show people what is already publicly available. And I feel like, yeah, with her having such a big team, I genuinely feel like whenever those articles were coming up about how like she's fixing the economy, oh, I I am of the belief that that was her team behind the scenes, just putting out some fucking propaganda because people were already looking into her carbon energy consumption, whatever the fuck. And so I think her team was like trying to get ahead of that shit by trying to paint her as this like savior that is just plucking the economy of America from the trenches. Whereas in reality, like the way I see it, okay, not maybe 
it's my reality because it's the way that I see it. Yes, her tour might have employed a lot of people. That's that's something that some people were saying. And, you know, like she's created jobs for people in an economy where it's hard to get a job. But my other thing is like the tickets were so fucking expensive. And with her fan base, okay, if you're an adult and you're buying a hella expensive Taylor Swift ticket because you want to see the bitch live and even though like you're not even gonna really like you're gonna be so far away from her in the fucking arena like i don't even i don't get it i don't get it but if it was my fave maybe i would get it but she's not my fave so i don't get it if you're an adult you do whatever the fuck you want with your money you worked hard for it you go do you but i just think of like all the teenage girls that were like begging their parents probably you know to buy taylor swift tickets and just how hard those parents would have had to work to afford that shit like bro i had to when i was younger when i was in high school i begged my mom calm down i begged my mom for foster the people tickets yes that's right i was an indie girl i had my indie phase honestly torches by foster the people is still one of my favorite albums of all time and i also got to discover kimbra through their concert so i'm happy with the results but i had to beg my mom for tickets and it was 150 dollars. but we were so broke at the time as a recently immigrated family into canada that like my mom was just like man 150 dollars i don't know where the fuck i'm gonna pull that from <laughs> like shit so anyway my uncle ended up paying for that ticket and i just remember like being like oh my god so fucking grateful that I was able to go to this concert. It was only $150. And, and okay, that was in like 2011. With Taylor Swift, like the tickets were thousands of dollars. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Helping the economy. Yeah, because people have to fucking work so hard to afford the damn tickets. Anyway, <laughs> might get canceled. <laughs> I might have the Swifties come after me on this one. But um, again, can't you read the damn sign? No strangling the strippers. Anyway, so um, the other thing that's interesting about Taylor Swift right now, I don't know whose video I was watching. I want to say it's Lovely T. Might be going out on a limb here, but I think it was Lovely T. Oh my God, why is my memory so bad? I'm not even smoking weed anymore, guys. But yeah, some people believe that her relationship with this whatever Kelsey guy, it's Kels, not Kelsey, but you know what? To me, he's a Kelsey, so fuck that. But some people believe that her relationship with him is completely fabricated and not in the sense that, like, it's not real. Like, I'm sure they may as well enjoy each other's companies, but you know what I mean by fabricated is that it's kind of like a ploy from both of their teams, probably mainly her team and I don't know, some other powers that be, call it the Illuminati, call it the fucking gatekeepers of the entertainment industry. But basically, they they're only together, she's with that Kelsey guy, to bring more hype back into the NFL and to really add more, I don't know, what you, I don't know how to explain this, but it's basically to increase the fan base of the NFL from people that, you know, were originally into it to people that are going to watch the games solely based on the fact that Taylor Swift is going to be there. She's been going to all these games and shit, right? She always got the cam on her. Sometimes they're not even reporting about what happened in the game. They're reporting about Taylor Swift's reaction to certain moments during the game. It's like, oh my God, like, fuck off. Is this about sports or is this about Taylor Swift? So yeah, some people, some people do think that, and I think, I, I can't know for sure, okay? None of us can, but I do think, I, I see the, I see the point in that. The people that used to not give a flying fuck about, what is an NFL, National Football League, <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb. No, I'm not. Pause. I am very smart. I just like to play dumb and talk in silly, very nonchalant, casual ways because I think it gives my brain a break from the highly intellectual aspect of it that I function with. You know, like it's it's hard being so fucking smart. Sometimes I just need to be dumb. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. Thank you for listening to the Yap session about Taylor Swift. I would like to hear your feelings and opinions about our savior of the U.S. economy. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, one more, one more thing. I saw this TikTok and uh, she was talking, the girl was talking about the way that Taylor Swift dresses and how like she's never gone for like very elevated high fashion, like editorial kind of looks that it always looks like she's wearing something that like your average girly is going to see in like, I don't know, H&M or Zara or whatever. And she's just going to like throw it on. It doesn't always match. Like it's just not, it's not elevated, you know, 
know, for someone that has Taylor Swift's fame and stature and money and opportunity and connections. And, you know, the girl on TikTok was saying that this is intentional because this is how Taylor Swift gets to appear more relatable to the girlies that listen to her. And I think I, yeah, honestly, because that's the thing. I don't keep up, keep up, bitch. I don't keep up with Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. So what I remember her fashion style being as is like the very hipster. And this was like when I was still back in high school. Okay, shut the fuck up. Yes, I'm old. Yes, I'm crusty. It's fine. It is what it is. But yeah, she was just really rocking like the hipster, like Zoe Deschanel kind of, you know, like I'm a cute girl. I'm like hipster with like, I don't know. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm going to find some pictures and throw them on so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or maybe I won't. Who knows? You can never know with me. I like to keep bitches on their toes. But yeah, okay. Taylor Swift yap session is over. Let me know what you think about her. And man, like if you like Taylor Swift and I basically just called you boring as fuck in this video. Ooh, I, I ain't taking it back. And listen, it's okay. The world needs boring people because the boring people make the really interesting people stand out. That means that I just get I just get more spotlight. Like you can't have you can't have positive without negative, right? It's like yin and yang, and that's why we can coexist with the Taylor Swift fans. Doesn't mean that we're going to get along or agree that she is the queen. Mm. But you know, I have a right to my opinions just as much as you have a right to yours. So um yeah. Also, let me know what you guys want me to talk about. I haven't checked my comments in a hot minute. I should probably do that. <laughs> but let me know if there's any topics that you want me to talk about or to look into. I always like to hear from you guys. And with that being said, stay bad. Stay weird. And most importantly, fuck Taylor Swift. I'm not, I'm not gonna actually drop the mic, okay? I care about my equipment. Okay, bye, bitches.